Hey, I'm Katie from What Katie Did, and Viva Las Vegas is just around the corner. And I know a lot of you will be visiting the LA area at the same time. So I thought I'd tell you about some of my favourite vintage haunts in LA. If you're a fan of What Katie Did and you've been following us for a while, you'll know that we pick up an awful lot of our props and shop items and studio items from, from flea markets and vintage stores. So it's no surprise that we're, we're huge bargain hunters and love searching out new things. So for LA, there's, there's three different areas you can look at. One is one of vintage shops, two are flea markets, and three is estate fairs. So vintage shops, first of all. Now, first of all, I'd advise you to come to Burbank where our, our lingerie boutique is, because the street is lined with vintage stores, reproduction vintage stores, and you never know what you're gonna pick up. If you come out of our store and walk down the road a couple of blocks, you'll come, you'll walk past a few vintage stores which always have interesting things in them, but eventually you'll come to Play Clothes, which is about five minutes down the road from where we are, and it's a big corner store. And this is my favorite place for finding vintage in LA. And if you've seen some more of my videos, you'll, you'll know that I've I mentioned Play Clothes in quite a few of them. For example, I picked up this this bra here for just five dollars in play clothes. One of my favourite things about play clothes vintage is that it separates everything by decade. So they'll have a rail of dresses for 40s, 50s, 60s. So you can go to exactly the area you're interested in. And they also have a menswear section, a homewear section, and of course a large lingerie section, which is of particular interest to me. If you cross over the road from play clothes, you'll come across classic hardware, which is vintage inspired jewellery, faker lights, and that's the new home of Betty Plage clothing as well. So the whole area, you, ha you have like a couple miles you can explore all day and find some amazing pieces. Flea markets are huge in LA, and my favourite one is the Rose Bowl Flea Market in Pasadena, which takes place on the second Sunday of every month. Now this flea market is absolutely huge and you'll never know what you're going to find there. Uh, I, we found trunks for our boutique and we found chairs and tables and all kinds of things. And it's, it's absolutely huge. It's, there's very little shade there so you do have to remember to put on a lot of sunscreen, take your parasol, take water because you're going to be there for a long, long time because you, you, won't, you can't imagine how big it is till, until you're actually there. Pasadena is about a 20 minute drive from our LA boutique. It's, it's 20 minutes because it's on a Sunday morning very, very early. And if you're, if you're driving through LA at 7 a.m. on a Sunday, there's, there's no traffic at all. So it's really easy to get to. If you're not there for the Rose Bowl flea market in Pasadena, there's also a huge flea market in Long Beach, which is a bit further away on the coast. Now it's, it's very, very similar to Rose Bowl in size and people have their own favourite flea market and my, I, I personally prefer Pasadena but I've got friends who prefer Long Beach. So again with Long Beach is prepare to be out in the sun for a long time, have your parasols and your sunscreen. Long Beach is quite, quite away from Burbank if you're, if you're staying our side of town but the good thing is there is a row of vintage shops there as well and I really can't remember whether it's 3rd or 4th Street but if you're going to the Long, Long Beach Flea then you can also spend a day and check out the vintage stores as well so it's well worth going to. Both of these flea markets are only on once a month so it can be frustrating if you're not there for the right weekend but there are flea, smaller flea markets around like the Melrose Trading Post, which is on Melrose Avenue, at, at, it's at Fairfax High School, and it's just a couple blocks from where our old boot, boutique on Melrose Avenue was. I was there last weekend and I picked up this card table tablecloth for just $15, which is amazing. It's not, there's not so much true vintage as there is at Long Beach and the Rose Bowl. In fact, I've got a 14 year old daughter who's obsessed with Urban Outfitters and I was thinking she'd love it here because you've got your air plants, you've got your crystals, you've got your 80s customised t-shirts. It's very, very chilled out. You've got bands playing all day. There's a lot of local people. There's lots of food stalls. So it's a kind of laid back, chilled out kind of day, although you will find the odd vintage piece. And I have found you know, a couple of interesting vintage bras there. You just have to go there and be aware that you're there and hanging out with local LA people and having a chilled out fun day as opposed to you're going to find lots and lots of vintage. 
The other good thing about the Melrose Trading Post is that it doesn't start until 9am, so you can have a bit of a lay-in, and it continues until about 4pm in the afternoon, so you don't have to get up early. You can go there and have lunch and just hang out and have, have a low-key day there, which is quite good fun. Thirdly, I must mention estate sales. Now, we don't have estate sales in the UK, so I didn't know very much about them, but estate sales are where someone, someone passes away and basically their, their, their estate is sold. So they open up the house and all their bits and pieces are sold. And being where we are in LA, obviously you have these amazingly glamorous old ladies who, who and, you know, sadly pass away, but they, their, their things need to find new homes and that's, that's where we come in. There, there is a website called estatesales.net, which actually lists all the estate sales coming up. And it actually has pictures of everything as well. So you can, you'll know whether there's something that interests you. And you can find you can find real bargains at these estate sales. I was in LA last weekend and I was really looking forward to going to some estate sales. But the um, LA, LA Marathon was on. So, so I missed them completely because you couldn't get across town. Driving was really hard. So nobody had any estate sales that weekend, which is why, why I ended up at Melrose Trading Post instead. But in LA, there's always something going on in the vintage world every weekend, so you'll be able to find something of interest for you to do. If you have any local vintage tips or any LA or London vintage tips, please let me know and I'll share them with you all. And I'll catch up with you soon, so take care.